Aloha and good morning everyone. So fall is hit and it's been a few weeks since I got back from Hawaii and most of that time was spent trying to recuperate from the humidity because it wasn't very good for me and um, just trying to get rid of my jet lag. It caused a flare up so I had to recuperate from that and well here I am. Today started off in kind of a crisis um, so for some reason I did not check my schedule or my calendar and I usually do that before I go to bed just to make sure that you know I know what's gonna happen for the day and everything and I didn't do that last night for some reason and um, it was also not a very good night for me I had trouble sleeping staying asleep and there's a little bit of pain so it just wasn't a very good night last night and I woke up late uh, I got my day started off kind of late and um, so I finally convinced myself to get out of bed and go take a walk on the treadmill. Well, I got on the treadmill, it was about 9.30, and my phone alerted me to the fact that at 10 o'clock, someone was coming to visit me. And I thought, oh crap, um, I don't know what happened. I, I usually check my schedule, but it didn't happen last night. So I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and we have what we call ministering sisters, where we have people kind of assigned to us, um, you know, just to visit with us and check in and, you know, just kind of, um, I mean, they're assigned, but, you know, it's more of a fellowship kind of thing. So they were coming to visit me at 10. So I got the notification at 9.30 while I was starting to walk on the treadmill. So I hopped off and got in the shower and tried to get ready. You know, I only had 30 minutes to get myself ready and the living room in decent order and the living room looked like this. So by the time I got out of the shower and got decent looking. <laughs> um, it left me with 15 minutes to clean up the, the living room. And normally the living room is not a big deal to clean or, or whatever, but I was in crisis mode kind of. So that meant crisis cleaning. And that means this, getting a basket, grabbing everything that's on the floor or whatever, and throwing it in there and then throwing it here in my room. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what I did. I just threw everything in the basket and threw it in here in my room and closed the door and then went and vacuumed. So this is what the living room looked right before my ministering sisters arrived. It's not too bad. I did manage to vacuum really quick. But at the same time, I sat throughout the visit thinking, praying, hoping that they wouldn't have to use the bathroom because Today is actually the day that I cleaned the bathrooms and since I got started late today, it wasn't clean. So they didn't, they ended up not having to use the bathroom, which was, you know, an answered prayer. <laughs> but it was a good visit. I always like having visitors. Um, having fibromyalgia is kind of isolating. I don't really get out much because of my health. And to have people come and visit me when I'm feeling all right, um, that does raise my spirits. So I appreciate it. Um, and they're new, they're a new assignment, um, different from who, who I had um, previously. So I look forward to um, getting to know them. The kids are also on fall break, so I'm kind of free with my schedule. And I've been trying to kind of declutter. Um, I've been working on the kitchen for the last few weeks, and I think I've got it down to what we just use and what we need. So that's good. I also have a room downstairs in the basement that used to be my craft room, but now it's kind of a catch-all room and it's gotten a little bit out of control. So I've been working on that um, every day for about 15, 20 minutes, trying to just clear out the garbage and the clutter and everything. And it's looking okay. So it's officially fall here. The weather has turned cooler and the leaves are falling. So it's my favorite time of year. Well, my favorite season. My favorite holiday is 
Christmas, which is coming up really quick. But um, yeah, I'm just out on my porch. It's kind of windy, and you can hear all the wind, uh, the leaves rustling. So that's kind of nice and calming. But it's kind of cold. <laughs> so here's some leaves rustling in the wind. And this is what the neighborhood looks like. Um, yeah, so we have this big, huge net in our front yard. It was Jeff's birthday present. He is now in U13 um, level for competition soccer. And so they use the really huge net. It's like 8 by 24. And it's so big that you can see it's, you know, on top of our sidewalk and to the edge of our yard. We used to have it over here. But the way Jeff was kicking and everything, it would hit the neighbor's house. So we thought, I don't think they'd appreciate that. So we moved it over here. And for the most part, it's been really good. Jeff's friends have been coming over. It's fall break from school the whole week. So we've had, you know, kids playing in our front yard and everything. So it's been fun. Um, trying to put together the net, on the other hand, was a kind of a big production. It took me and Jeff most of the morning when I got delivered to put it together and then even then when we had it up there was some problems with how they fit and uh, the net I don't know putting up the net and making it stay attached I don't know so these are the parts so far that we we arranged them in number and they're pretty big so I really don't think I mean you can take it apart and everything and I guess that makes it portable but I mean they're really thick so we're going to set it up and see how it works. Hopefully, I mean, it's a good, it's good quality because Jeff kind of needs a net to practice, especially if he's the backup goalie. You ready for this? Okay. So it's just me and Jeff trying to put this together. <laughs> yeah, this is so not fun. <laughs> it's kind of heavy. But I guess it's supposed to be. But anyway, this is what we've got so far. So we got most of them. I mean, go get the frame put together. Now we just we're just trying to get this long piece right here up on that and that one over there. Um, just trying to figure out what the best way to do it because we've already tried. We put this long one together and then the two of us are on each end and trying to put it in. But the buttons on the the poles. Um, I don't know, they're not popping out. So we're doing something wrong. Can't figure out what it is, so these won't pop out. And the other poles will sit on it, but they won't come all the way down to make this pop out. So we're just trying to figure out if, maybe if we take the middle out or something, and then put these on, and then put the middle in, but I don't know. Ha, huh, Jeff? So here it is. Jeff and I managed to get that top bar up. Um, this is it without the net. There's a little snag, not snag, sag in the middle on the top bar right there. And supposedly that's not a big deal. I don't know. I don't know if there's maybe something we're supposed to be doing to make it straighter. But everything seems to be popped into place. So I don't know. But some of the reviews that I was reading on Amazon noticed the sag but they said it was okay one guy had it one guy has had this goal for like three years I think and he says it's it's fine so I don't know I'll probably have Scott take a look at it when he gets home from work but again this is it without the net Jeff got tired and um hadn't eaten breakfast yet so he went in and then afterwards I guess we're going to try and put the net on so that was the day we set up Jeff's goal um like I said it was an ordeal and it took us most of the morning um, but we did get it up and we got the net situated and attached and so it's been working really well. Um, the following days after we got it put up, um, Jeff's friends were over and they seemed to really enjoy it. They've had several tournaments amongst themselves um, and they've been just having fun and just been enjoying having a goal to practice on in between his um, official practices. So it all worked out. Also Halloween is next week in about eight days. So um, last week I got off my butt and I finally put up our Halloween decorations. Here's a ribbon wreath that I made. I showed it in one of my other videos. That was fun. Then here is our front 
side table, I guess you call it. There's a wreath, a cat, some candles, a pumpkin, and a sign. Then if you walk over here, you can see the fireplace mantle. Some stuff up there. And then, oh, we have a runner and some candy and some pine cones. So funny story about those pine cones in that glass bowl. I got it from Hobby Lobby and uh, when I bought it, it was in a plastic bag. And I honestly thought they were fake, so I didn't think they smelled. So <laughs> I came home and I put them in a bowl and I put it on the table. And the following next uh, few days, I kept smelling cinnamon and you know, kind of pumpkin spice or whatever. And I was like, where's that coming from? Because I didn't have my, um, any of my essential oils going or anything in the diffuser didn't have any wax candles burning so i'm like i don't every time i sit here in the living room i smell it and i don't know where it's coming from so i happened to be dusting one day and i leaned over realized the smell was coming from <laughs> the bowl they were real so yeah i'm oblivious so here's more decoration on top of our bookshelf um this is our antenna that have uh, you can put some tea lights in the haunted house in the tree and then if you move over here I just have some subway art and another candle holder and a wax ghost candle so that's the extent of my decorating skills um, I like to joke that my grandma my mom's mom was the original Martha Stewart because she was always for as long as I can remember, she's always been really crafty and creative and, and things like that. And my mom also. What happened with me, I don't know. I'm not not even close to their level of creativeness. But, you know, I try. And that's pretty much the uh, extent of my abilities, you know. Um, following, being able to follow directions and making a wreath, <laughs> that kind of thing. I mean, I probably couldn't come up with anything on my own. But, you know. When I find something on Pinterest, um, which I think is like a curse and a blessing. I don't know, because you can find things, you know, if you ever get in a rut or you need something. But at the same time, it makes me feel bad sometimes because I am so not creative. And I try, but again, whatever. Okay, so it's about lunchtime. I just finished with my lunch. And now I figured, since I have a little bit of energy, I was going to come down and um, just see what the status was of the catch-all room that I mentioned before. Um, I'd cleaned some yesterday, but Jeff and his friends were down here playing hide and seek and pretty sure they came in this room, so I just wanted to assess the damage if there was any. So this is what it looks like. So this is the room. Um, I do have my chest freezer in here. Um, and then all of this stuff. I don't remember what it is exactly. Okay. That looks like a lot of... Okay, that's my son playing Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> he gets very uh, vocal and excited when he plays. But anyway, um, so yesterday I cleared a path from the door to the side over here to the back. Um, and for the most part, it looks like Jeff and his friends left it alone. But um, so the goal for this room is to get all of this out and in proper homes or given away or thrown away because that's obviously garbage that's boxes and i don't know why there's clothes baskets of clothes in there um then i have to go through that closet when i moved all my craft stuff because this was my craft room before um i had all my stuff in the closet and i left some stuff in there and it's been there for a while but that needs to change so that <laughs> Yeah, that's my goal is to get all this, to get this room just basically cleared. So when my husband was doing, redoing the floor in our bedroom, the hardwood floor, we moved our stuff in here. So there's some stuff on the shelves still um, that we've never cleaned up, I guess. And then this room became a catch-all for everything. So that's what I want to do. Hopefully I can do a little at a time. Um, this whole week is, again, it's fall break, so our schedule is open, and so I have some free time. So it just depends on how well I feel during the day. Um, this is what the kids do on fall break.
computers and Xbox. Mom. Yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so other than trying to do a little decluttering in that catch-all room and the visit that happened already this morning, um, really don't have that much going on today. Hopefully my body can keep up and not be tired today and not achy. I mean, I already have a pain in my hip, but well, that's to be expected. But that's all I really have planned today. And we'll see how that goes. But thanks for watching and um, I guess I'll see you in the next video.